when I was a freshman, there was an, uh, one other lady that was um, the major in engineering, but I was the first one to graduate. Prairie View gave me the opportunity to be where I am today, because without that engineering degree, there would not be a Nathan and Kennedy and Associates Consulting Engineers. So I'm really grateful to Prairie View. I'm grateful for the fact that that campus is located out there on the hill, out where it's located. I think that was to my advantage. I'm grateful for the, for the instructors that really gave us an opportunity and that taught us and made us really study hard. I'm grateful also to my friends that I met at Prayer Review. I mean, we're still, you'd be surprised how many of us are still friends today and we still correspond with each other. I'm, I'm grateful for the total experience. When I say the total experience, I mean the total experience. I'm grateful for the people that I met, my boyfriends, you know, and my husband. I met my husband on the campus. I'm grateful for that. So we're still here together. We'll be celebrating our 46th anniversary in December. So uh, I think Prairie Review was, it was the place I should have been at the time. And I consider myself as a role model because I have a lot of students, a lot of other uh, people who have started their firms or their businesses. They come here to talk to me before the, when they start their business to get ideas from me. I have students coming to me, and I've gone out to speak to students at other, other uh, colleges and university about engineering. And I've also gone into the high, at the high school level. So I feel like had not been for Pro Review, no one would want me to do this. And so I feel a sense of obligation that I can give back. Prairie View has withstood the times. So th that says something there. And it's still growing. It is still well known. And we're still producing. As our motto said, we're producing pr productive people. Prairie View, I think it's the camaraderie of being there. I'm sure it's different now for the younger people that are down there now, uh, perhaps in even a better way than, than what we had, but it almost forged the love in your heart. Uh, I remember the alma mater, and I will till the day I die. And I learned fundamentals about life and about managing myself and making decisions and becoming an adult and, and trying to stay on the right track. and pride and honor and all the things that carry you along in life. I, I got the, the, the foundation, the cement for my life was poured between my high school and college, that outside of my home life. At Prairie View, I had the opportunity to uh, live an unrestricted life. I either excelled or failed on my own. And uh, it also pro provided me, uh, in terms of my education at Prairie View, uh, the, the, the opportunity for leadership. Uh, I, I ended up uh, being uh, an, an officer in, in uh, my class for three years. I became the uh, president of the fraternity, uh, the president of the uh, Wichita Falls Club, uh, and a uh, member of the student council. So I was, in fact, uh, being prepared for leadership. I did not realize that uh, that is what was coming out of my education, but uh, make no mistake about it, I am absolutely convinced that but for the experiences I had at Prairie View and the direction I received from my professors, I don't believe that I would have be, been equipped to be a member of the United States Congress. The once small college for colored youth that struggled for funding, recognition, and equality not only has survived, it has gained a reputation across the U.S. and worldwide for its engineering, arts, architecture, education, nursing, criminal justice, and science programs, as well as for producing outstanding military leaders. Today, Prairie View's buildings and trees sit in quiet dignity, guarding the heritage of those who built this institution and those graduates who went on to successful careers, making the world a better place. Prairie View A&M University, enriching the lives of all Texans since 1878.